In 2024, most people were still skeptical, thinking that robots were merely prototypes. However, by the end of this year, we will see thousands of Tesla bots working in factories. Tesla's Optimus is not just a new product. It is a major technological breakthrough, far greater than the personal computer and smartphone revolution. When Tesla announced that their Optimus would launch in just a few months, we were truly astonished. Of course, everyone is curious. Can Optimus really do this? How can it perform complex tasks independently without human assistance? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,500 subscribers. It'll be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. Tesla's Optimus robot is currently demonstrating some astonishing capabilities, leaving everyone in awe in the best way possible. Imagine a Tesla Optimus confidently stepping into a hospital, not just as an impressive piece of technology, but as a tireless, hard-working assistant. It can smoothly navigate crowded hallways, accurately distribute supplies and medication, and never miss a task. But that's not all. Thanks to advanced artificial intelligence, Optimus can communicate seamlessly with medical staff and patients, ensuring operations run more efficiently and safely. If you're still unsure about the idea of a robot playing the role of a nurse, consider this. Optimus can monitor health indicators, assist patients with mobility, and perform daily tasks such as measuring temperature or administering medication. It doesn't replace human care, but think about how this support could help alleviate the burden on overcrowded hospitals. Now, let's move to the factory environment. Optimus carries out every task automatically. What's even more fascinating is that it doesn't work alone. Optimus can collaborate with other robots, continuously sharing information and learning in real time, creating a teamwork system among machines. The result? A smarter, faster, and more adaptable production line. Imagine a workforce that never gets exhausted or needs a break. When it comes to household tasks, this is where Optimus brings truly personal convenience. It promises to take over our chores like cleaning, cooking, and organizing the home, making tedious tasks a thing of the past. But wait, it's not just about sweeping the floor or chopping vegetables. Optimus can also help your kids with their homework, entertain them, or even teach them something new while you're busy with work. In reality, Optimus can handle numerous complex tasks without human intervention. With cutting-edge design and engineering, it's capable of executing high-precision actions, such as catching a ball in mid-air, a skill that demands lightning-fast reflexes and split-second decision-making. This is not just about powerful hardware, but also a seamless combination of advanced image recognition software and sophisticated mechanical systems, reflecting a significant leap in robotics technology. Beyond that, Optimus can lift heavy objects, move effortlessly up and down stairs, and navigate rough terrains without difficulty. These capabilities make Optimus a game-changer across various industries, from logistics to emergency rescue operations. What's even more impressive is that Optimus is equipped with a collective artificial intelligence system, enabling all robots in the network to share data in real time. When one robot completes a task, the entire system instantly updates, creating an ever-evolving and continuously optimized collective intelligence. How would Tesla Optimus excel with new AI tech? Milan Kovac, Vice President of Engineering for Optimus at Tesla, recently shared a video emphasizing that the robot can maintain balance without relying on video data. Technically, it doesn't have the ability to see. He highlighted the challenges related to slipping and falling in the area where Optimus was moving, stressing the complexity of the terrain. Additionally, Kovac included a link to Tesla's recruitment page for those interested in joining the Optimus project. Elon Musk also reaffirmed that Tesla Optimus is equipped with advanced neural network technology, delivering results that have far exceeded his and his engineering team's expectations. Tesla has integrated the same AI technologies used in self-driving vehicles to power Optimus, enabling it not only to move, but also to learn. Traditionally, robots have been seen as machines that simply execute pre-programmed tasks, much like advanced mechanical puppets. However, developing a humanoid robot capable of self-navigation 
and real-time adaptation to its environment presents an entirely different challenge. For example, in a recent test, Optimus attempted to walk on a 15-degree slope. The terrain was uneven, unpredictable, and covered with multiple layers of material, making movement even more challenging. Remarkably, Optimus operated as if it were blindfolded, without relying on visual data, using only its neural network to sense and adjust its movements. Impressive, isn't it? These capabilities demonstrate that Optimus is more than just a factory assistant. Instead of depending on pre-programmed commands, it learns through neural network technology. This introduces an entirely new approach to how Optimus tackles real world, going far beyond the rigid scripted tasks of traditional robots. One of the most groundbreaking and intriguing aspects of Tesla Optimus's neural technology is the speculation about its connection to Neuralink, another ambitious project by Elon Musk in the field of brain-computer interfaces. Imagine combining Tesla's artificial intelligence with Neuralink's technology, creating robots with unprecedented responsiveness or advanced prosthetics that integrate directly into the human body. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? Or perhaps it makes you uneasy, depending on your perspective on robotics. But here's the real surprise. Elon Musk and Tesla have been involved in Neuralink's development since its founding in 2016. They have made significant strides, including receiving FDA approval for human trials in 2023 and successfully performing the first implant procedure in January 2024. So far, two completely paralyzed patients have undergone surgery and are now able to control computers independently and proficiently use advanced design software. Clearly, Elon Musk is envisioning a future where Optimus takes on repetitive, dangerous, or monotonous tasks, allowing humans to focus on creativity and innovation. The demos we've seen, from navigating complex terrains to handling objects with precision, are undeniably impressive, yet almost hard to believe. This marks a significant leap forward in the robotics industry reinforced by neural technology that is redefining the limits of what machines can achieve. Elon Musk has set ambitious goals to keep the Tesla bot project on track, aiming to integrate cutting-edge robotics into Tesla's production lines by 2025. The Optimus robot is anticipated to perform basic factory tasks and contribute to electric vehicle manufacturing. Musk has outlined a target of deploying at least 1,000 Optimus units within Tesla by 2025, with potential scalability to as many as 10,000 units. This could allow for limited sales by the end of the year, with more significant expansion expected in 2026. Recently, Musk announced that mass production of the Tesla bot would ramp up this year, with a goal of producing 500,000 to 1 million units annually by 2027. Specific milestones include 5,000 bots by 2025, groundbreaking for a new factory in late 2025, 50,000 to 100,000 units in 2026, and 500,000 to 1 million in 2027. To put this into perspective, 5,000 bots per shift matches the workforce of a single Tesla factory shift, a bold vision unmatched by any other robotics company, including Boston Dynamics. Currently, Tesla manufactures Optimus robots at its Giga Texas facility, which stands among the most advanced tech hubs globally. Although a dedicated production line has yet to be established, over 100 Optimus units have been manually assembled by Tesla engineers, demonstrating impressive adaptability and innovation. Last year, around 50 Optimus robots were showcased at a major event, interacting with attendees and becoming a central highlight. No other company has enabled customers to directly engage with a humanoid robot like Tesla has. Musk has even projected the eventual production of billions of Optimus robots likening their prevalence to that of smartphones. While this vision may seem ambitious, Tesla's capabilities make it feasible. He compares this to the automotive industry, where annual production of 100 million vehicles sustains a global fleet of 2 billion cars. Similarly, the widespread utility of humanoid robots, from serving drinks in restaurants to performing household tasks, could drive demand for over a billion units annually. Musk envisions Optimus becoming as commonplace and essential as smartphones. However, achieving this scale of production presents significant challenges. Mass production requires extensive data and advanced training for Optimus's components. 
Critics have often pointed out the robot's awkward gait and slow movements, drawing humorous comparisons to those of an unsteady or elderly individual. Despite these challenges, Tesla is steadily progressing toward its groundbreaking vision for Optimus. Last year, nearly 50 Optimus robots were showcased at the We Robot event, where they interacted directly with attendees and became the center of attention. To date, Tesla remains the only company in the world that allows customers to experience humanoid robots firsthand. This reflects tremendous confidence in Optimus's future, as Elon Musk once declared that Tesla would produce billions of Optimus robots. While this may sound far-fetched, considering Tesla's capabilities, it is not only feasible, but also within reach. So you could say pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, fold the shirt. Uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. Elon Musk once admitted that enabling the Tesla bot to serve water, a task that sounds simple, is actually far from easy. The creation of the robot's hand alone accounted for nearly half of Optimus's engineering efforts. A significant portion of human intelligence is tied to the use of hands for manipulation and interaction with the world. For the first time in history, a robotic hand has achieved 22 degrees of freedom, just five fewer than the human hand. If the Tesla bot's brain were as intelligent as a human's and paired with this advanced hand, it could potentially perform 90% of the tasks that humans can do. However, the major challenge lies in balancing the sophistication of this system. Adding too many actuators would make the hand overly bulky, give it an unnatural shape, and compromise the flexibility needed to achieve the desired level of freedom and strength. If all fingers were of the same length, the hand's ability to manipulate objects would be severely limited. The differences in finger lengths enable the hand to perform delicate and precise tasks while enhancing its efficiency in handling complex operations. For instance, the pinky finger, though small, plays a crucial role in high-precision movements. Losing the pinky would significantly reduce the hand's dexterity. This is why Optimus's hand is designed with five fingers of varying lengths, closely resembling the human hand. This unique design enables Optimus to perform tasks requiring exceptional precision, such as holding eggs, carrying battery trays, or serving drinks, all of which demand incredible dexterity from its hands. So how did Tesla achieve this? Elon Musk explained that in the human hand, most of the muscles controlling finger movements are located in the forearm, with tendons running through the wrist to manipulate the fingers. Similarly, Optimus has been redesigned with an actuation system resembling tendons in the human body to replicate the delicate functions of a hand. Tesla ingeniously integrated actuators into the forearm, mirroring the human body's mechanism, and used cables running through narrow tubes to control the fingers. These cables act as the tendons of Optimus, serving as the key components that allow its fingers to move with near-perfect precision. How does Tesla provide power to Optimus? Based on Tesla's revealed plans to use its 4680 cells to power the Optimus robot, some believe this design might not be the most efficient for a humanoid robot. While the robot's body is large enough to accommodate 4680 cells, it may require a significant number of cells to achieve the necessary voltage. It is evident that Optimus is equipped with 90 cells of 4,680 batteries. This Tesla battery technology allows the robot to operate for 12 hours in a home environment, such as moving around the kitchen, cleaning the living room, or simply caring for the elderly or young children. After every 12 hours of operation, Optimus can automatically connect to an in-home charging station and take about one hour to recharge before resuming its tasks. Operating continuously throughout the day does not affect Optimus's functionality, as it is simply a robot, unlike humans. Tesla could utilize higher voltages to make Optimus operate more efficiently, but 48 volts is not an arbitrary choice. This is the threshold where electricity becomes hazardous to humans, so Tesla would avoid exceeding this value. Even at 48 volts, Optimus's battery pack will require some form of redundancy in case certain cells fail. Ideally, it should have multiple 48-volt modules connected in parallel to enhance output capacity and ensure backup power. Tesla claims that the Optimus battery will have a capacity of 2.3 kilowatt-hours. 
assuming an estimated capacity of 26 ampere hour for the 4680 cells, two 48 volt modules connected in parallel would be required to achieve the 2.3 kilowatt hours capacity. Using 2170 cells with approximately 5 ampere hour capacity would require 10 modules or five times the number of cells. While this approach would make the system more flexible and improve thermal management, it would also increase costs. This is why Tesla opts for larger cells for the robot, especially since they can produce them in large quantities at the Giga Nevada facility. Initially, it's no surprise that Tesla has considered using lithium iron phosphate batteries for the next generation Tesla bot. LFP cells are about one third cheaper than NMC cells, but have lower energy density. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below, and so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.